what's up Taurus hey Taurus it's Ashley here at fire intuition I am here to do the case of the ex love readings this will be for the month of May this will be for Taurus Sun moon rising also Venus if it doesn't resonate do check your moon and rising sign also I do want to say happy birthday Taurus I love you guys you guys are amazing sending lots of birthday love your way so let's hop into this reading um you guys did request this this is the case of the x reading you guys really wanted me to bring it back so i'm going to do a shorter version um if you guys would love to book the case of the x reading you guys can do that on my website fireintuition.com all right i'm going to look into their feelings i'm going to see what's stopping and blocking them and um how they feel about reconciliation and the potential outcome all right so let's hop into this love reading Taurus. Let's see what's coming in for you guys with the case of the ex. Like I said, this is just a general energy for the month of May. All right. Um, so yeah, let it be great. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I will be back on Instant Go full time this week. So if you guys would love to follow me on there and book on there, you guys can do that as well. I am on Instant Go and on Facebook as um, fire intuition and on IG and far as my Facebook goes you guys will be able to book on there soon I will be adding my scheduling app to my Facebook page okay that will let you guys book appointments with me all right so let's hop into this reading um Taurus let's see what we got so when it comes to the person that you're dealing with and how they feel about you we have a will of fortune and we have the three of pentacles so someone wants to work things out with you, okay? It looks like there was some type of setback. It looks like you guys ended things, you guys broke up. It looks like you guys weren't willing to compromise with the Wheel of Fortune, Three of Pentacles. It looks like someone was being very petty. Um, this also could be someone that you work with. They could have been dodging you at work when they seen you, ignoring you. Um, doesn't have to be. That's for a few of you guys. But with the Wheel of Fortune, it looks like someone's making their way back or wanting you to give this a second chance. Yeah, Page of Pentacles coming in with some type of offer. Okay. Um, yeah, someone's coming in with some type of offer. Because we do have the Three of Cups. Looks like you guys are going to be celebrating something. I feel like um, because it's your birthday season, I feel like someone's going to open up to you. It's going to, it's, an uh, ex is going to open up to you. And that's when you guys are going to come together and kind of work things out. Um, I just feel like it's going to be unexpected, though. All right? Um, let's see um, what is stopping and blocking this person from coming towards you. The Page of Cups and the Nine of, uh, Nine of Wands. Yeah, see, they're having a hard time communicating. And it's because of how the relationship ended. The Nine of Wands, defensive arguments, a lot of miscommunication. Um... You annoyed, frustrated, putting a lot of energy and effort into something and it's still not going anywhere. So let's see why is the nine of wands here. The devil. Yeah. See, that's what's stopping and blocking them from coming towards you. And that's because, like I said, the relationship ended. Um, it was toxic or it was the way it ended. Or there's just a lot of arguments between you guys. Or you guys argue a lot. Sorry. That's what I meant to say. You guys argue a lot. So you guys are dealing with a Capricorn. Going to the devil. Yeah, see the Six of Swords. So you guys kind of moved on or they moved on. But they're wanting to open up communication with you, though. So let's see. Why is the Page of Cups here? What about the Page of Cups, please? Five of Swords. That's what they're battling right now. We do have the King of Wands at the bottom of the deck. They're just like in their head like, fuck it. Like, I should just open up. Because even though things were bad between you guys in the past or whatever happened... It's like they still want to open up. They still want to be with you. They still want to work things out. But it's about you guys coming, like, overcoming this, coming out of the past. Someone really, um, someone is still stuck in the past. Why is it about the swords here? Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, see, someone's, someone invested a lot in this relationship, Seven of Pentacles. And someone just can't get over the fact that the relationship didn't work out the way they wanted it to. Whether this was you or them. And that's also the problem. Someone's looking at what they put into the relationship and invested in the relationship. All right? So um, let's see how um, they feel about reconciliation or do they want to reconcile with you. Let's see, Taurus. We have the Four of Wands and we have the Ten of Wands. So I feel like they do, but they feel like it's going to be hard. 
or they feel like you're going to give them give them a hard time. The Ten of Wands is here. You're like I said, you're over it. You're done. You're exhausted. You went above and beyond. Three of Swords came out with the Four of Swords. Great. So after the three comes the four. A lot of you guys just start healing this this um, relationship. Okay, you're finally coming out of heartbreak. You're finally healing this situation. And it's like now they're trying to come back in. So I don't know, Taurus. I feel like um, this is something you guys are going to have to think about. Because someone's still stuck in the past and someone's trying to move away from that energy. It come back together. Let's look at the potential outcome here. Four of Cups and the Ten of Swords. See, someone's still stuck in the past. Someone wants to open up and talk to you. Um, or this is how you feel, Taurus. But with the Ten of Swords, someone's I don't know. Let's see. Why is this four of cups here? Five of pentacles. Yeah, they feel like the love is going to stay and be unrequited. One to the ten of swords. The king of wands. But they're still going to try. Okay. Um, the king of wands is popping up in all of the case of the X readings. This is a card of action. One to the king of wands. Let's see, Taurus. The ace of swords are coming in. Yeah, see. They want to start over. After the 10, it comes the ace. Okay, so they want to put an ending to this, come out of the past, and someone wants to move forward with you. Ace of swords. They want a new beginning. They want some type of victory. They want to clear the, clear things up. They want to talk. They want to start over. Okay? So this is what I have for you, Taurus. All right? Um, I love you guys. I'll talk to you guys again soon. Bye, Taurus.